Hello guys, welcome back to the Gaming Flu and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix. Arc Survival Ascendant is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch. Freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, black, black screen issue which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the work, workaround. The first one is all about we have to do a simple restart. So just go over here in the start icon, go to the power icon and do a restart. Once afterwards, try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. If that is not the case, we have to launch the game uh, from not from the Steam, but we have to launch the game from the installation folder. Because launching the game from Steam is uh, for many users, it does not work that much. So we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties, go for installed file and just click on the browse. So that will take you to the installation folder and if you check at the top, that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam Amps, Common, Arc Survival Ascendant. Now from here we have to navigate to the shooter game folder, navigate to binaries, win64. Now from here we have to launch the game and that will be working fine. So this is the second step. And also you can try two more steps that is all about we can run the game as an administrator. So just right click over here and go to show more options, go to the properties, go for compatibility. Make sure you have to select this one, run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok. And also afterwards make sure that you have enabled check run the program in the community mode. We have to try with Windows 7 first, go for apply and go for OK. And if that is not the case, we can go for Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK as well. So most probably when you set this to Windows 7, it will be working fine because it worked for many users. So just go for apply and go for OK. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just launch the game and press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. When you press Alt and Tab from the keyboard, you have to keep in mind, it working for many users when it comes to the issues such as not launching or won't launch. So just do like this. Next one, we have to make sure the date, time and region is correct. So just go over here in the search, we have to navigate to settings, go for time and language, make sure the date and time, make sure this is turned it on, everything should be turned it on, which means the time zone automatically and time automatically should be turned it on. Just go back, go to language and region. From here, we have to make sure that you have to set the language or uh, you have to set the country according to your geography. Select everything fine, uh, correct over here. And once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and try logic the game. Next one, it's all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer. We have to navigate to this PC and we have to navigate to the documents. Now from here we have to find the folder over here. So if you are not able to find the folder, just go to my games and you will be able to find the folder here. So just delete the respective folder and keep in mind when you delete this respective folder, everything will be lost so that every game progression will be lost and you have to start from the scratch once again because it worked for many users. so you can even you can try this out. Next one is all about we have to allow the game to Windows security. Just go over here in the search, we have to navigate to the control panel. Go for system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here you can see the Arc Survival Ascendant is already added. Make sure both the private and public, both has to be selected. And once afterwards go to details and not details, you have to make sure if the game is not here added, we have to click on change settings. Go for allow another app, go for browse. Go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86. Go for Steam over here and navigate to Steam Amps, go for Common. Now from here we have to navigate to Arc Survival Ascendant, select the game from here. And from here we just have to select this one and go for Open and we have to add it. So I'm getting the error over here, so that is why once you add the game, just close everything and we have to try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices. Because what happens is in most cases we might be connected with multiple monitors, we might be connected with multiple computers, we might be connected with multiple controllers. All these cause this issue up. So we need to unplug everything. Once unplug everything, launch the game. After the game is successfully launched, you can connect it back and try continue playing the game and that will be working fine. 
next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search we have to navigate to system configuration go for services go for disable all hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok the users who are watching this go for restart and once you're done with the restart try complete uh, opening the steam once again and try launching the game and most probably the issue has to be fixed next step is all about we need to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click go to the properties make sure if this is turned on we have to turn this on and once afterwards try launch the game that's that is not the case we have to try giving the commands in the launch option the first command is dx11 try giving the commands dx11 in the launch option if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and try launch the game and that will be working fine so this can also be done most probably that's going to help you guys out as well because for me it personally worked for many games so that is why i recommending these some of the steps next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the game we have to navigate to graphics settings now from here we just need to go to the installation folder click on the browse navigate to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam go to steam apps go to common now from here go to arc survival ascendant go to shooter game go for binaries go for win 64 select this one and go for add the game is already added so i have to go over here and go for option by default this is high performance we have to change this by default this would be let windows aside change this to high performance and go for save once you save this just close everything and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about we have to close all the overlay application so just go over here in the start right click and go to task manager now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background which is why we are having the crashing issue so remove the unwanted things for example like discord Diva Tuner, MSC Afterburner, all these can be removed. So just remove these things and once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back, try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, make sure we have to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here in the search, we have to navigate to view advanced system setting. Go to the advanced, go for settings once again, advanced once again and go for change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed. Go for custom size and set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So just type your RAM 32 GB multiply it with 1024 that is and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that is 14 and 152. Copy this and we have to paste it. Next one we have to go for the maximum size just type your RAM multiply with a constant value 1024 and multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to paste it. Once every value is being set, we just need to go there and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the windows. Just go over here in the search, go to settings, go for windows update. Just update the windows and make sure the windows should be up to date or else we'll be having the trouble. And also update the graphics card. So I'll be providing link in the description to NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. The NVIDIA users has to go over here and select everything like your product type, product series, product operating system, everything you have to select according to your PC's configuration. And when you search, you'll be getting this option and you have to download the driver version 545.92, which is the driver version. And we have to download on October 26th, which is released on October 26th, which is the latest one. Download this install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. If you're on the MD, select every details and go for submit. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. If you're trying to want to install Microsoft Visual C++, you can also done this. So just go over here. If the system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x86, download this one. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Last and two steps which can be done is very important step that is all about we have to uninstall the game go to manage and uninstall the game and keep in mind when you're reinstalling it it's bad it should not be on the same local disk from which uninstall you have to try a new local disk and the last step we can try verify integrity of game file go to properties go to install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed so let's wait this to reach 100 percentage and i'll be showing you what you have to do next
So once everything is done, just close everything and try launch the game and that will be working fine. So these are the possible workarounds and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.